In this video, we're going to show you how to sync your Google Drive to your PC. In this case, we have a new PC. We don't have uh, much on it yet, and we need to get our files back from the cloud onto our PC. From then on, we're going to run in a sync mode, so everything we do, whether it's in the cloud or on the PC, will be synced back and forth, and we won't lose our content anymore going forward. So first, I need to get to Drive. So I can either do that in my bread box and hit Google Drive, or I can type up here drive.google.com. Either way will get you there. Once you're in Google Drive, you need to actually download the little program to sync the two together. It's over here in Settings. So I'm going to click on Settings, and that's the little cog way on the right, and I'm going to click Download Drive. This is an application actually that's going to run in the background on your computer and keep your Google Drive in the cloud always synced with you on your actual PC hard drive. First, I need to download it. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to accept and install. And we're going to go through a quick install process here. So I'm going to click this to run it. And I'm going to say yes. So we go through the install process. It doesn't take too long to do this. It's not a very big application. I'm going to close this and I'm going to watch in the bottom right down here for this little application to kick off. So you can see here we have a shaded one and at the bottom here we've got a little icon. And so it started it. We're going to go through the process now. And basically what we need to do is log in. So I'm going to log in as this teacher account. You would just log in with your OCSB account. And I'm going to put in my password. And I'm going to click through the next real quick here. You can read these more. But I'm going to get through them so we can move forward. All right. Now. We're all set. In this view, you can actually choose some sync options in that um, you can choose folders and things like that. There's lots of things on the internet about how to do this. We're not going to do that right now, but you don't have to sync everything. You can sync select folders. And I'm just going to say done because we're done. So I'm going to sync everything basically is what it's going to do. Now, what happens when it runs, which it started running already, and boom, we're done kind of. Um, what it's done is it's created a folder called Google Drive. That's the folder we're in right now, and this is on my PC. So it's dumped these files in. So I'm going to now show you that real quick. So if I take this and throw it over on the side here, and I take this one and just pop it up here, uh, I now have, can see my two drive scenarios. So one is on my PC on the left, and the other one is in the cloud on my Google Drive. So you can see the files are both there. Let's say I just really don't need this iTunes thing, so I delete it here. Whether on purpose or accidental doesn't matter, but be careful. Um, you can recover some things from the trash on your Google Drive and on your PC, but I'm going to delete it. Delete. So what's going to happen? This is a sync scenario. So everything you do in one space happens in the other. So if you look now, it's gone on the Google Drive side because you deleted it on your hard drive. Because anytime you create or delete in either environment, it's going to actually change it in the other. That's what a sync does. But it's awesome in that it keeps your files always with you wherever you are. So whenever I do something, maybe I'm offline and I'm working in the cloud and I reconnect um, or I'm, I'm working offline and I'm working on my PC and I reconnect, it's going to copy everything back into the cloud for me. So that's great. And that's what we want to happen. Just be aware, if you change anything in one, it does it in the other. And now you should ha have all your files back. You can tell that they're back because we have little green check marks. 
while it's copying, you get two little blue arrows kind of in a circle that it's processing. When it's all done, you'll get all green check marks and you'll be done completely. And that is how you set up Google Drive Sync so that now you won't lose your files ever again because if you're doing anything on your PC, you'll have a copy in the cloud. You need to always work in Google Drive to make this work because that is the folder that's being synced. So everything you do now, just do in Google Drive. You don't need to use your Documents folder anymore. Just work out of Google Drive and everything will just be copied up into the cloud. And remember that in the cloud, you have unlimited space. So you don't have to worry about that. Enjoy Google Drive Sync. It's an awesome tool.